Hi friends. I've got here today the Milwaukee, what do we call this thing? Rubber broom attachment. And it's pretty freaking big. And it attaches to the power uh, head that comes with it. So we're gonna see if this will actually do good in gravel or if it's made just to sweep little things or if you can get in there and really do it. And um, before we do this, we need to put on some Milwaukee knee pads. For safety. Got my Milwaukee shirt, Milwaukee knee pads. Opening it with my Milwaukee knife. Everybody knows how this thing works, so we won't show that. But this, we don't even need the knife. See? Came in handy. <laughs> All right, so maybe this thing ain't that big. This is about an arm length. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. So come up here real close. We'll look at this thing. I'll grab a, a Milwaukee tape measure for my Milwaukee paddle broom. Let's see how long this bad boy is. So we're sitting at about an inch and a half by 10 inches, and then the blades are actually 11 and a half. And uh, branded on both sides. They're pretty, pretty stiff. I'd give it probably about a, about a seven or an eight out of ten on the stiffness. Stiffness. Okay. All right. Same this thing. This one's the same thing. They got. I didn't see that on this one. I, didn't I guess it had them. Yeah, so they're just a track and they metal band them together. And then you get your hexagonal chucks in there. Yes. These. Slide into here. Yep. Slide into there and they should have metal pins. Where's the metal pins? While these are spinning, you can't. Mm -hmm. you know, come out. All right. It's probably good for the recording. I'll put this together. I'm we'll gonna record the whole thing. Huh? We're recording the whole thing. Is this good? Yeah. I think that's how it works. <clears throat>
means it is put this thing on That means it is on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> How heavy do you think that is? 35, 40 pounds probably. 40 pounds? He tried out. Flip it over. You think it'll work? We'll try it out. I believe it's gonna work. I think it's pretty legit. All right, we're going, we're going down here. There's a bunch of homeless people digging. We're gonna see how they react to this thing. Oh. Let's see how this works. That might be too much. They've already did it. So the question I had about this thing, why I bought it, is uh, whether I can use it to dig ditches or if shovel is just the way to go. This thing's pretty expensive, coming in about, uh, I think it's $600 total for the whole package with the head and the arm too. So uh, we'll see if it works good for digging digging in the dirt or digging in the gravel. If you were gonna lay pipe in there, I'll show you here. It's kind of hard to control, but you do get a pretty straight ditch to put the PVC in if you wanted to. It's too crazy to haul things. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're learning as we go. This is a mixture of pea gravel and 57, so we'll just see how it does. Just burying it and just let it dig itself down in there. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so final thoughts on the Milwaukee Power Broom. Um, it does great for what it's designed to do. The thing I wanted to test was whether or not it would be able to work as an electric shovel and just dig ditches for PVC lines for doing underground type situations. Uh, it works okay, I guess. It's, it's a little bit more cumbersome than just using a shovel. It's definitely a little bit easier, but not a ton easier. And at the price tag, it's, it needs to be a ton easier if I'm gonna buy another one of these things. Um, we tried using it in reverse and it did okay. It just slings gravel all over you, even with a guard in order to use it properly. It's, it's gonna fill your boots full of gravel or dirt or whatever on dirt. Perfect, worked great on gravel. It worked okay, it digs more than anything else. I didn't get to try on any number twos. I did try on my driveway here, as you saw, and on uh, concrete, it is very sticky, I guess is the right word. It uh, It's always spinning backwards, so it's putting pressure on you, like pushing against you. So you have to literally force yourself harder to go forward. And that's kind of the one of the ways it works, I guess, it's just kind of weird. It's like pushing a giant snow shovel full of snow all the time. Um, I was hoping it would work a lot easier for digging stuff out so I wouldn't have to dig as much, but looks like a shovel or excavator is probably the way to go. I was trying to find a little shortcut, but not today. So all in all, I think this thing's pretty cool if you're using it as a broom, because it's a power broom. But if you're trying to use it as a shovel or a power shovel, it's not gonna cut it. Um, that's just my thoughts on it.